here we have an assertion reason question based on the principles of probability let us first check if both of these statements are correct now what does the first statement say it is about how many sundays are there in a leap year so first tell me how many days are there in a leap year there are 366 days in a leap year now how many sundays are there in a leap year for that all you have to find is the number of weeks because in a week you will have exactly one sunday not just sunday it is the same for monday tuesday whatever day if you take one week you will have exactly one sunday so how many weeks are there how will you find out in a the week there are seven days so divide it what will you get there we see that in a leap year there are 52 weeks which means what for sure there are 52 sundays of that you can be sure now the question is in this remaining two days will you have a sunday what are the cases that are possible now what is the probability of sunday falling on one of those remaining two days now what all cases are possible there are totally seven outcomes it can be a sunday and a monday a monday and a tuesday all of these seven outcomes is possible out of that how many favorable outcomes is there there you have a sunday and a monday or a saturday and a sunday which means 2 by 7 now this is the probability that a leap year will have 53 sundays so your first statement is correct now let us see if the second statement is correct now let us move on to the next statement which is the reason that is given here let us find out if this one is correct now we will proceed the same way how many sundays are there in a non leap year the number of days in a non leap year is what it is 365 how many weeks are there divided with 7 and you will get 52 days and there is a remaining just one day so for sure you have 52 sundays that is for sure the question is just about this remaining one day what all are the possible uh, possibilities of that day what all can that day be it can be a sunday a monday a tuesday If there are seven options that you can choose from out of this the total number of outcomes is what it is seven out of it how many sundays do you see you see just one sunday this is the only favorable outcome that you see so it is 1 by 7 so this statement here is not correct the first statement is correct so that's all for today assalam alaikum